Just have a rule of thumb. If you notice that you're doing something over and over, you shouldn't be. Easily was $100,000 a month that was saving me just one tool. Definitely is very valuable to know how it works. More valuable than a lot of other things that a lot of lawyers know. Not using Zapier for repetitive tasks. Found from people who have joined our program that if you're doing something that's really, really repetitive, these days it could be automated. Just have a rule of thumb. If you notice that you're doing something over and over, you shouldn't be. They usually it's a sign that it could be automated. And the biggest, most popular and effective tool for automating is Zapier. Zapier is just a tool that integrates two tools together. Basically, uh, when something happens on one platform, you want that data to be pushed over to another tool. That's Zapier is the glue to these two platforms. And that's how you're able to automate. When this happens, go do this. When this happens, go do this. That's what I've been using for probably f over five or six years, over 200,000 automated tasks a month. And I, in the last six months, I realized how valuable knowing how Zapier works, how it's crucial it's been, how knowing how Zapier works is essentially more valuable than honestly, a lot of other things that a lot of lawyers know. So yeah, Zapier is a secret sauce. I, I don't think, Sam, that you are touting or tooting your horn loud enough, okay? Because Sam is just about the unqualified expert in, in Zapier. I don't know. I don't know of anybody who uses it to the extent that you do, and has gotten as much leverage out of that tool as you have. It's it's a phenomenal tool for creating workflows, for integrating the product of one application or service to another application or service and stitching them together in workflows that are uh, consistent with how you operate and take these, as you said, repetitive tasks and automate them to the point where you can have these things being taken care of automatically. A lot of times it's passing data, contact information or, or um, textual information from one platform to another, but not always. A lot of times it can be adding content to a spreadsheet, to word-based table. The, the degree to which you can put these things together is almost unlimited. Now, it does take a little bit of time to monitor to make sure that your zaps, as they're called, are continuing to be up to date. When one application gets updated, sometimes these zaps break. You have to pay a little bit of attention to that, but in the long run, it's, it's such an enormous a time saver. And I know you, Sam, have done so much to help educate people in the use of Zapier. I know you have some resources that people might want to take a look at. Yeah, actually, when, when you shared that, and I remember that I shared the 200,000, actually, I just looked. It's 171,000 in the past 30 days, and it's actually about to reset. So our month is actually about to end. 171,000 automations in the past 30 days. I remember one time I also did a calculation that basically I said, if every if each automation saves me just five seconds, which is probably at least probably a couple minutes, but it'll just say very super conservatively like five seconds. Then I backtrack calculated it to what's the value of my time. And it was like easily it was $100,000 a month that was saving me just, just one tool. And being one of the early pioneers of applying Zapier for law firms, a year, Looks like two years ago, I started posting videos about Zapier. If you go on YouTube and you search Zapier for lawyers, there's one particular video called F Top 5 Automations That Run My $10 Million Law Firm. This video is actually one of my top videos right now on YouTube. It has hundreds of likes on it. Check that out. It's a, it's a video that provides the more clear, comprehensive walkthrough about the top five Zapier automations that I've set up for my law firms, including what happens every time a new lead is generated. Second, every time that we sign up a client. Number three, how you can use Zapier to automatically case, send case updates. Number four, I remember it was like collecting outstanding payments, all the stuff that could be automated. It's all explained here very clearly. It's, I think it's very important to know how it works, but you don't necessarily have to be the one to create it. What we do inside of our program is we have people that are automation experts. You just have to say, hey, I want this to be automated. And then our people come in and go inside your own uh, Zapier account and set these things up for you. But it definitely is very valuable to know how it works, what could be integrated, all that stuff. Just know like the macro stuff. And then you just have these law firm growth implementers that could set up these automations for you. I'll tell you a real quick story. Way back in my tech days, when I worked for a company called 
Computer Science Corporation, we had a gentleman, Dr. Howard Eisner, who's the vice president in the division that I worked in. He wrote a paper about his idea of stitching together different programs across different platforms, different hardware. This was 30 years ago, 35 years ago. We thought he was crazy. We thought, like, that's just too futuristic a, a concept and that will never be implemented given the technology where it was in that at that time. And lo and behold, he was omniscient because that's exactly to a T what Zapier does. 